Okay, that's the top score in uh, W prime. So that's the main board memory. And it crashes for some reason. Hmm. Okay, so what you saw on that video was my proof of my uh, W prime 1024M top score with the E8500. That was the very same E8500 which I already demoed briefly on water cooling this past summer when I did over 5.1 gigahertz just on water cooling and the CPU had a very nice VID value of 1.25 volts. So uh, I was already sure back then that this CPU should be very very good on LN2 and it definitely was. It was very easy to get over 6.3 gigahertz on LN2. I didn't need any more than like minus 115 or even or minus 120 degrees Celsius and I could pass like 6.3 plus in W prime 32 1024 m with very easy voltage. I think I only used like 1.8 something. So uh, the CPU is definitely good but there were some huge or enormous memory related instability issues. So I was running the uh, am the amazing Asus P5E3 premium motherboard which I did the top scores with the Core 2 Duo E6750 uh, top scores with. So uh, that very same P5E3 Premium which could do like 705 FSB with just Northbridge on air and SuperPi 32M between 680 to 690 FSB. Uh, I really had no idea what the heck was going on. I couldn't resolve those very weird like MCH, so memory controller hub related issues with the motherboard. I tested every possible setting. Now, uh, after posting these scores, I uh, talked with two other uh, very uh, like experienced 775 overclockers, so uh, Giggles and Ground, they are both from Germany, and both of them had huge like memory related issues only with the P5E3 premium motherboard when using a Wolfdale CPU in general. So no matter if it's an E8600, E8500, E8400 and so on. So apparently, and this is something I, have, I definitely have to investigate on, so the P5E3 Premium seems to have some MCH related issues with Wolfdale CPUs in general at very high FSB speeds. So talking about like 640, 650 and beyond FSB frequencies. Low FSB ranges are just fine, like between 500 and 600 FSB. The uh, board is definitely amazing with any Wolfdale CPU at like 540 FSB, 550 FSB with 2200 MEMS and so on. So it could be the BIOS. I need to test this myself. Yes, but uh, the uh, anyways, the CPU is great. 6 minutes, 3.5 seconds in W Prime 1024M. Almost a 20 second margin or overhead over the previous top score by the French guy who I was moaning about in my E8500 uh, water test video. And the CPU can definitely do even higher speeds than this. I think the CPU can do 6.5 plus in W Prime 1024M uh, if the motherboard is capable of running such high FSB speeds. My best Rampage Extreme can definitely do it. And uh, well, this P5E3 can also do it but I need to fix or I need to get an idea what's going what's causing those huge memory controller related issues so as you saw when I passed the score I actually did it many many times so when I passed the score like W prime I opened up a few CPU Z executions so like CPU mainboard and memory then when I click capture PNG 2 to save a screenshot boom a blue screen so uh, that's a very annoying issue and uh, I was I saw this easily when I tried to run something like PyFast. The PyFast is quite a tough benchmark on 775 platform as a whole. So uh, with the P5E3 when I tried to run like PyFast at 650 FSP it would instantly fail after like a few seconds. But when I uh, I wanted to test this out myself so I swatch I switched them up aboard at the very end when I only had like two or three liters of LN2 remaining when I ran my best Rampage Extreme with the very same CPU it was working 
completely fine at those uh, FSP levels. So I need to revisit the CPU whenever, when, I, when I get the chance and see how high it can do, but it should be able to take down all of the top scores as long as the CPU is still just fine. But that's pretty much it. So uh, the only reason why I posted this video was to uh, show a proof of this particular score because I posted this score to hardwarebot.org based on uh, this capture card footage. So the, in this regard, the capture card is very good because it's like a constant screenshot device. So I can, as you, as you saw, I showed the CPU part of the CPU-Z as well as the main board tab briefly and then the memory. So that pretty much shows all of the needed information for hardware bot and uh, I could just take a screenshot of the uh, video itself which I recorded. So uh, for this kind of testing the capture card is actually a very intelligent device. But yeah, so uh, pretty happy with the CPU and it kind of shows that my uh, knowledge about Wolfdale CPUs do work at this point. Like what's a good CPU based on water results for LN2 like top score hunting. So uh, need to need to check out what's the, because I really would like to use the P5E3 Premium. I even uh, made a PLL modification on, on the board so I could use a varying PLL voltage between I tried as low as like 1.25 and even a very high PLL voltage of 1.8 but it had no impact whatsoever. So uh, it has to be some minor bug in uh, the BIOS itself. It has to be somewhat BIOS related thing that's causing the issue with Wolfdale CPUs overall. So uh, it has to be tied to the uh, Wolfdale like CPU ID in some regard. So I need to check out like could I solve it myself on my own. So uh, yeah, sometimes this happens even among us who have done LN2 overclocking a lot. So uh, 775 is definitely a difficult platform to bench on LN2. Even after 12 to 13 years, it still gives a new. It, it still gives new surprises along the way. But yeah, so uh, definitely stay tuned for more results with this with this particular uh, E8500. I definitely want to run close to 6.5 in W Prime with this particular uh, CPU and do Super Pi 32M, Pi Fast. Well, Super Pi 1M I still have. I have the W Prime 32, the 1024M and 1M at the moment. I only need Pi Fast and uh, Super Pi 32M. I can obviously try the validation if my motherboard is up for the task. But yeah, so uh, just a short video this time for you guys. So uh, uh, give me a thumbs up if you like my overclocking adventures with these old platforms and CPUs and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.